Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we'll be discussing about formation of ice crystals and the effects of frozen storage on food quality under the chapter of preservation by freezing. So now, let's get started. Formation of ice crystals In slow freezing, ice crystals will develop when the product is froze down to negative 20 degrees Celsius in 3 to 72 hours. During this duration, cells in the food will damage severely because large ice crystals are formed at intracellular spaces that will squeeze and rupture the cell structures as they grow. Besides that, the cells are dehydrated due to the high water vapor pressure. During thawing, food cells will not regain their original shape and texture and the cellular material that leaks out from the rupture cell are called drip loss. Other disadvantages of slow freezing are organisms can adapt themselves to low temperatures, allowing them to continue to grow and reproduce. Other than that, the food will become soft textured and look unattractive. For fast freezing, the food product will be frost to negative 20 degrees Celsius in only 30 minutes. This can be accomplished by direct immersion of the product in the coolant or by blasting cool air across the product. During fast freezing, cell wall will damage lightly because smaller ice crystals are formed in both intra and intercellular spaces. Water vapor pressure gradients are absent so that the dehydration of cells are minimized. Advantage of fast freezing are the ice crystal form are small and well distributed. Therefore, it will not squeeze the cell structure and the texture of the food is retained. Next, it will not allow microbes on the food to adapt themselves due to thermal shock. Plus, the loss effect will also be minimized. Here are some of the effects of frozen. Biological changes. The vegetative cells of yeast, malt, and gram-negative bacteria, such as coliforms and salmonella species, are easily destroyed. However, gram-positive bacteria, malt spores, and bacteria spores, especially bacillus and clostridium species, can survive the freezing condition. Chemical changes. The first one is oxidative deterioration where it takes place slowly at negative 18 degrees Celsius involving fats and oils which causes of odour and of flavour. Emulsions of oil in water or water in oil may become destabilised. Protein conformation and solubility may be altered due to the curdling of proteinous materials. In addition, proteolysis will occur in animal tissues if enzymes are not properly inactivated. Lastly, textural changes. Food product will turn into mush and liquid, especially for products with high water content. Changes in meat are less critical compared to fruits and vegetables because meat have more flexible fiber structure where they do not break during freezing. On the contrary, plant tissues have rigid cell structures so they are easily damaged by ice crystals. Not to mention, cooked products will have less changes because cooking process already softens the cell walls. So that is all from us. Thank you for staying until the end and don't forget to subscribe, like and share our videos. Hope you have a nice day. Bye bye.